Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we've got a big Tron deck with big cards that uh, is going to cause me to use this preview window. Uh, what is this deck we're going to do? We're playing Tron, Tron Monsters, or I like to call it Chonkertron, because we're just trying to play out big stuff. Now, the main thing that was new, and this deck is from Vanilla James, where he won the challenge after having top aided the super uh, for Popper on Magic Online. The way this deck works is we're just trying to get Tron super fast and then go into things like Boulder Branch Golem, which is 7 mana, so you can cast it off just your Tron lands. It says when it enters the battlefield, you gain life equal to its power. We also have Self Assembler, which is a 5 mana 4-4. Four four. So basically, uh, what people have pointed out, it's the Mirror Enforcer uh, version for Tron. It finds another one, so we we chain them across. We go self assembler, self assembler, self assembler, self assembler into power plant worker, which is also a four four, and you can pump it um, if you control creatures. Yeah, you can you can pump it to a six six once a turn for by tapping a tower. We're playing one main deck Fangorn Marauder because we've already got a bunch of. Uh, life gain here, so just one extra here, and then four Wretched Griff, which is a 3-4 flyer that draws a card when you cast it, and four Maelstrom Colossus, which is a 7-7 seven, seven with Cascade for 8 mana, so you can hit almost everything in the deck, and then rounding it out, two Olamog's Crushers. <laughs> just put big stuff into play, make it happen. We're supporting that by playing Expedition Map and Ancient Stirrings to try to find our lands on time, and Chromatic Sphere and Star is just cantrips to keep going through the deck. Then to clean up the board, we're playing four Breath Weapons. Also playing one Bajukabog, some Grottos, some Forests. Haunted Fangraph is here. It can return a creature card at random from your graveyard to your hand. So if there's just one card in the graveyard, you can return it. One Slagwoods Bridge, so a red-green indestructible land. I'm not sure why he chose this over playing something like the Gain Land, but... You know, I guess that works for you. Playing, and then the the power plant, mine, and tower. When they're all together, you can tap mine for two mana, power plant for two mana, and Urza's tower for three mana. Uh, one thing I didn't point out is that Old Mox Crusher has Annihilator two, and attacks each turn if able. So if you can get that out fast, it clears the board really quickly. In the sideboard, uh, Vanilla James was playing one Gorilla Shaman for affinity, three more Fangor Marauders to eat on, like really mess up affinity. One Weather the Storm and Pulse of Marasa. Weather Storm for Burn, obviously. Pulse of Marasa also to deal with Burn. Two Serene Hearts for Bogles. Three Twin Silk Spider for uh, Mono Blue, stuff like that. And then four Relic for Graveyard and Flicker Decks. Just bring in all the Relics. Relic is hilarious, but uh, I think it will work. So. This is our Chonkertron deck. We're going to bring it into a league and see if we can just uh, beat down. We'll see you there. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. We're here in round one versus Bagram, who I want to say is on mono blue, but I don't really know. And we have two mines and a map. We're also on the draw. I think we can do better. We're going to mulligan. Oh, no. Okay, this person's actually on mono, mono red blitz which we can't really beat on the draw whatsoever. I'm going to mulligan again. Well, let's try to mulligan again. Mine, power plant, tower. Keep. Get rid of map. And one star. So our plan is to go mine, star. Okay, Seagate. Okay, not mono red blitz. They're on uh, what appears to be Cogate. So we can crack the star for Ancient Stirrings and try to get a uh, a monster for turn three, but we'll see. I don't really want to do that in the face of a spell here, so we might have to just wait. Play an island that came into play with no 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 art for a second there. We play a Squadron Hawk. We can clean up the, the Hawks with the Breath Weapon, so that's good. Multitron. It's a combo deck. <laughs> they only grab two Hawks. So they must have had a second hawk in hand. We find a boulder branch golem. Green. We're going to ancient stirrings. And I'll take the wretched griff. Let's see. Is that a good play? Probably. We want the cards. Power plant go. So next turn. Oops. 
Next turn, I think we play the Boulder Branch Golem. We can always just wipe their board with the Breath Weapon. Although, if they're representing Counterspell, we'll play the Ratchet Griff to two for one and then get our cards out of it. So they play a Preordain. They go top, bot, two top. So they're maybe looking for a land. Found their gate. Okay. Uh, they cannot Basilisk Gate right now. And play another hawk. So we're hoping that they play out all of them, and then we just wipe all the hawks off the board. Right now, this is going to make it a 3 3. So if we play the Wretched Griff, they have to play another gate. Alright, let's see. If I play. I think I'm going to play the Griff. Draw a card. We find another Griff, so that's cool. So this blocks at least one of the hawks. If they have a second gate right now. Okay, now they can make their hawk a 4 4. So I think I'm just going to play a second Griff and then pass. Or we can Grotto first. We need a little bit more Tron lands. Okay. They're going to draw and discard. They discard a Hawk, so they have one more Hawk in hand. Eventually that Modern Age is going to be able to attack, hit us. Right now we have 7-8 mana. Let's Grotto. Scry. We'll take the Star. Uh... Let's Griff, draw our star. Probably they have a Spell Pierce. So how bad is it if they Spell Pierce the star? I guess next turn I can play it before playing my Golem, and that'll be fine. Yeah. Could also have left both Griffs back to block. They're going to draw and discard again. They discard Prismatic Strands. Yeah, that's not great for me. So they would have to... Um, they can't, they can't play a white creature and gate, can they? Maybe if they have a, uh, a cat, they could. They could gate and play a white creature. So we're looking for actually blowing them out with breath weapon this turn, and it seems like that's not going to happen. If we draw a land, we can play breath weapon into self assembler and then just present a huge clock. And we can, uh, boulder branch golem that will, uh, undo some of the damage from one of the gated creatures. They're going to play, they Basilisk gated up, so they're going to attack for 5. Okay. You cannot Prismatic Strands to stop the Wretched Griffs, though, because they're colorless. Find a land. Okay, mine. So, first thing I'm going to do is attack. Then we have 6, we have 10 mana. We can play 2 Self Assemblers. Or we can play Breath Weapon. I think I just want to threaten lethal, right? This is 6, 10, 14. The self assembler. Yes. Grab a self assembler. So we're chaining off another self assembler. Yes, again. Grab another self assembler. <laughs> okay, so this is threatening lethal. And next turn we can hold the wretched Chris back if we need to. I'm also trying to entice them to use all their birds. Wow, is this lethal? Oh my goodness. Okay, no, that's 12. They're going to attack with everything. Okay. Puts us to 2. We attack with everything. So they have to block. Actually, they they have to block a self-assembler and then go to 1. Okay. We play... Fear. Crack for red. Power. Play the breath weapon. Six, seven, eight, nine. They can't strands right now. And we win the game! That was fast. Alright, uh... I guess we can bring in the Twin Silk Spiders. Maybe the Relics are okay. Relics stop strands. So what, what kind of things do I not need, I guess? Crusher's very good. Colossus is medium. I think the Fangon Marauder is not that good. I'm gonna cut this Power Plant Worker. Hmm. Obviously the Wretched Griffs are good. Boulder Branch seems good to me. Let's just bring in two relics? Well, we don't really need these spheres, right? Maybe that works. So the relic can stop the cats, it can stop the strands. That's why I'm doing it. Alright, we have opened an unkeepable hand. Once again, we're in a mulligan. I am asking you for lands, mulligan. So we're at four. So I guess we keep... I don't really want this bridge, I don't think. 
Well, maybe. Okay, put that put back the forest and the eight drop, and I guess the self assembler. Because right now we're looking for Tron mana. You know, land sphere, crack the sphere for green, and then, okay, play this, pass the turn. I guess crack, getting rid of the spheres, uh, maybe is not that great. We crack the spheres for ancient stirrings. Another seer. Uh, let's see, do you have it? We have the the bridge to cast stirrings. Okay, they have nothing. I was thinking they might have a spell pierce. They might be holding it for an expedition map. They play a cliff gate, and what do they choose? Blue. So that's red blue. So they're playing a Jeskai type list. They might have smash or stuff like that. We smash to dust, we can kill all our big creatures. Most of our creatures are artifacts. There's an artifact creature golem, there's an artifact creature assembly worker. Things like uh, dust to dust and remove or revoke resistance are actually pretty good. So let's tower and see if we can find the power plant. Because then we'd be in business. Yeah, hello, power plant. Any order. That's the turn. So now we can next turn Maelstrom Colossus and then start chaining assembly workers. <coughs> turn four Tron. We're just gonna pass the turn. Let's see what they do. We can block Guardian with all of our creatures. For two mana. They're gonna play deep analysis targeting themselves. And we are going to Maelstrom Colossus. So everything's also like two for ones. Let's see what we hit. I haven't cascaded really ever. Power plant. Colossus. What do we get? We get a relic. Cast a relic. Oops. So we want to and save targets. You. That means they probably have to flash back their deep analysis this turn if they want to use it. Relic. I'm following in the footsteps of Mengu. Just relicking people out. <laughs> so their turn, they went all the way to their second main phase, played a guild gate and a cat. Let's see if they flash back the deep analysis. For two mana, they're going to journey our Maelstrom Colossus. Alright. Well, that's still two for one. So, Relic U. Five, five. We can play two self assemblers. Ugh, clicking's hard. Self assembler. We're going to yield and then say always yes. Grab another self assembler. Play another one. Another self assembler. Ah, we have mirrored forces now. If they have a gate, they can kill our assembler. They're gonna dust to dust. Okay, that's a good one for them, for sure. They play modern age. This card's a spell pierce. Makes sense. We're gonna get in for one. They're at four cards in hand. We draw a maelstrom colossus. Cast that. Oops. See what we get? We get a Wretched Griff. That's quite good. So we get to draw a card. Draw a Grotto. So you get a 7-7 seven, seven and a 3-4. Let's play the Grotto first. If we get like a Breath Weapon, we could crack it. Expedition map. <clears throat> so top that. Uh, just crack for green. Play the map. And then I'm going to crack the map. And grab, I think, just a tower. Yeah, just a tower. Relic you. Pass the turn. So our opponent's going to draw and discard again. Next turn we'll have six. So this is seven plus another three, six mana. They discard a squadron hawk. So they must have another hawk in hand then. Two mana. We smash to dust our Maelstrom Colossus. Play Donmere Cleric, and I guess they're just going to gain some life. Exile things from the graveyard doesn't really make any sense. Okay, I guess we could bring in Pulse, maybe? <laughs> I wasn't really expecting it. I wasn't going to bring in Pulse, probably. Sorry about the cough there. Okay, step one. Attack you. They're, only, they're down to two cards, and all of our card advantage is paying off. So, we have two seven drops. If we have 14 mana, we can cast them. Play this tower. This is six, eight... 10, 12, 13. I think I want to cast the Wretched Griff. 
Oh, we actually have the mana. I forgot about this line over here. Three, seven. Okay. They're going to counter our Wretched Griff. Another two for one for us. We draw a card. Go ahead and exile a card. And then play Boulder Branch Golem. So we're going to gain six life. Now they have a 2-3 flyer. They're still just digging for a Basilisk Gate. Once they do have the gate, it's going to be a problem because they're going to get plus 5, plus 5 to everything. And more, if they get more. There's the gate. So they can't really afford to gate the cat right now. I guess they're going to do it. Interesting. I'm going to take it this turn. Let's go self-assembler. So we get another self-assembler, play that, and then I'm going to just cycle the, the sphere, the star, correct for green. If we hit the, um, the board wipe, it would have been good. Okay, we, we missed on stuff, so I guess I'm just going to attack. What I want to do is double block with the self-assemblers and take out the cat. <coughs> It's too bad there's like no trigger. There's no way to respond to the making a cat uh, token. So I'm going to have to like... Cat's going to eat a lot of my stuff. Actually, I can... I can set a stop for the end combat step here. So I'm going to block the cat. And then I can uh, pop the graveyard. That works now. Finally, I figured it out. Because I can't let them get this as a sorcery. Keep the cat dead. Okay, block, block. So they're going to go to 22 now. You're going to draw a card. Draw a Wretched Griff, which is good. So we get to have a blocker and draw a card. <coughs> All right, no cats for you. Three, seven, play the Wretched Griff. Draw a card. We'll turn off the end combat step. Maelstrom Colossus, okay. Play that. We're just playing stuff. We get a chromatic star. <laughs> Come on! Okay, cast it. Let's see. We'll crack it for green. And what do we get? An expedition map? Play the map. So let's crack the map this time for the grotto. Pass the turn and swing out. Soon we will just smash them. <coughs> they go to nine. We have a a lot of power on the table. This is 6, so this is 10, 20, 23. I think we probably block the Vector Glider if they attack. Uh, right, so our opponent has conceded. Uh, GG, we'll see you in the next match. Okay, we would like to play first, and I think we're going to mulligan, and one more time. Power plant mine, fog can go away, we have a breath weapon to clean up, power plant worker, let's just get rid of fog and breath weapon for now. Hmm. Let's go bog power plant worker, play out the grotto, looking for the tower. Self-assembler is not really what I'm looking for at the moment, so I'm going to bottom that, play the star, pass the turn. Just trying to assemble Tron and then do stuff. Looks like we're against maybe walls. Don't really have anything for that. Okay, Bogles. Find the tower. So we're basically hoping that they can't power this up too much this turn. 3-3. Three, three. Well, we're wrecked. I think we're just dead here now. How do we win this game? Uh, concede? <laughs> too fast. Too fast, too furious. Okay, I think we need Serene Hearts. <coughs> and then the Crushers are good. I don't really know how else we can... So we just need the Serene Hearts for sure. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of the Fangren. Actually, the Fangren's probably good, right? Because we're cycling a lot. Ooh, oh well. Mine. We have the Serene Heart in hand. I think I still have to mulligan. Map and stirrings. 
keep. Put back the Griff. Crusher is pretty good, I think. Play land, sphere, pass the turn. And then we're going to crack the sphere for green, starting for a land, play the expedition map, crack the map, but play the bridge, and then we have a turn for a crusher. Okay, that's really good. Green, we have the tower, so we're looking for a mine now. With on a mine, we have the expedition map in hand. So I guess we just take the self-assembler, play the tower into the map. So next turn our plan is go bridge into grab mine, then play crusher. Then we can serene heart and attack with the crusher. <clears throat> we could be dead before then though. Okay, they have a 2-2. Two -two. Land, get map, mine, your turn. They cast a commune with spirits. So we also could just play the self-assembler and then surprise them with a serene heart and block. That seems like the best plan now. They have so much power on the table. Nine. Yikes. Play the self-assembler. Grab another self-assembler. Pass the turn. <clears throat> okay, so they're going to get greedy and play an ancestral mask. Trying to close the game out. And uh, Spirit Link and their creature will die. And we will, they will be sad. Kill all your enchantments. Okay, block your creature. Pass the turn. They can see the game as expected. Okay, try again. So we need to do the same thing. Although Fangren Marauders are probably good. Maybe better than the Crushers just for keeping us alive until we can Serene Heart. We need to stay alive, right? I'm take out our two for ones. But Jukabog's probably not very good, but I don't think I can actually afford to cut anything. Uh, just take out the boulder branches. If we can get a Fanger Marauder and start cantripping, and they don't have a fast start, then we can eventually find the Serene Heart. We have a Serene Heart in hand. Perfect. Never did not have it. Okay, keep. We're going to land into Sphere. Crack for green. And then Stirrings. They mulligan to 5 this time, so we might be able to just, um, depending on what we draw, we might be able to breath weapon them. Play the sphere, pass the turn. They commune with spirits. Let's see what they find. They find a rancor. Play the rancor. Okay, I'm going to play the grotto out. Self assembler on top. Let's bottom that so we can try to find, uh, with the stirrings, one of our lands. Find. Boulder Ranch Golem. Already have that, so I guess we just take the Griff in the order. So we're going to pass the turn. My plan here is to cross my fingers that they can't power up their creature and then Breath Weapon them on, on their turn. They find Cave of Temptation. They abundant growth their land and get in for three. Okay. So land, pass the turn. They're going to slam the Ancestral. We will respond with Breath Weapon and blow them out. And that should be GG. <clears throat> Stirrings, looking for a land. Grotto, it's annoying. Okay, we'll take the Grotto. Play Expedition Map. Turn off my auto yields. Play Grotto. Bracket for the, the Power Plant. And then uh, Resolve the Scry. And we don't want that. Has to turn. We can now cast Serene Heart or Breath Weapon, but not both. They play an Abundant Growth. Plays a Solana. That means that they can put the Rancor on it. They have one card in hand. Next turn, they're looking to try to like do something with that. Has to turn. I'm just going to Breath Weapon it at the beginning of combat. Maybe end of combat if they... Sure, Rancor. Okay. A breath weapon. Their creature dies again. They do have a decent amount of rebuilding that they can do. They have two Rancors in hand, no creature. Okay. <coughs> they have a breath weapon again. So I'm going to crack this for green. Find the tower. So what do I want to play? I can hold open these two for breath weapon. One, two, three, four. Or I can just have... Five, six, seven, eight mana. Five, 
So let's cast a Wretched Griff, draw a card, pass a turn. Go into Abundant Growth again, looking for a creature. Okay, so now what they have is, if they play the, well, they can't play the creature and, no, let's see, one. They can play the creature and cave in the same turn, so I need to hold open Breath Weapon now, basically from now until the end of time. So this has to be open in this, or this and a star. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go star, and then play out our, this is five, six, one, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we finally did it, Fangor Marauder. <laughs> okay, pass the turn. Took me a while to click the right uh, lands there. I was thinking it through. So we needed to hold open three mana so we could breath weapon to respond to their creature. <coughs> Slippery Bogle. So the best plan for them would be to Cave of Temptation here. But we have another breath weapon. And we will blow them out. We gain five, so we always yes to that. And then just land the breath weapon. And they said, lol, really? I know. That's just how it is when you're troning people up. Let's see in round three. All right, while we're waiting for our next match, I want to point out that I made a slight mistake. Uh, when you, ha when he had the Solana in play and cast the Rancor, I believe I had mana open to Breath Weapon at that time, and I definitely should have done that because that makes the Rancor go to the graveyard forever instead of back to their hands so they can always cast on ne their next creature. So yeah, remember that. You gotta get rid of the Rancor on the stack, otherwise it keeps coming back. We'll see you there. Okay, we're on the play. Let's go versus Jaxad. Uh, so this is a bad hand. Mulligan, only one land, not a Tron land. Okay, we also have to mulligan this one. Too risky. One land, only maps. Let's go to five, Tron, Retrogriff. Actually, can't really call things. We're just looking for a hand with more than one land and the ability to get fast Tron. Okay, mulligan. All right, pretty close. So we'll keep, get rid of one Colossus, one tower. Uh, it's gonna be bad if we face Spell Pierce, but the Colossus is a two for one if we get there. Let's go. We're looking to hit Power Plant with the Stirrings. All right, Fairy Seer. So this hitting our, our mine would be very important to uh, get out ahead of their Spell Pierces and stuff. We're gonna green, Stirrings. Grab the mine, any order. We'll play the mine out and pass the turn. So next turn, if we don't find something we we can cast on seven mana, we're going to play the Grotto and Stirrings. And actually, if we have, so now we can don't have anything, but we don't want to walk into the spell starter sprite. So I'm just going to uh, play the Grotto here. Let's bottom our land and pass the turn. So having all these breath weapons in the deck is going to be pretty good versus Mono Blue. And Maelstrom Colossus is going to eat a counterspell at minimum. They get in for one. Pecking me. So let's go ahead and play the Maelstrom Colossus. Eat a counterspell. Uh, cast. <coughs> so there's the one fairy down. The counterspell. Okay. We're going to play out our Fang and Marauder. Green. Cast Fang and Marauder. You have another counterspell? No. So Jukabog you and pass the turn. We don't want to play the expedition map into a very obvious spell setter sprite. When you're trying to play around spell setter sprite, and there it is, you need to try to get as many in, uh, things in play as possible to play through it. They have four cards in hand, so let's see if they have a big ninja or a little ninja. So if they have the little ninja, we could consider expedition map first. And then they play the sprite, and then we cast the stirrings. Looking to draw into, okay, big ninja here. So they're going to be able to sprite a one drop. <coughs> and they're probably going to try to find a snap. We have a grotto. So we can try the expedition map first. It becomes a spell setter sprite. That's fine, because we don't need that map. But I would like to resolve my ancient stirrings. And if I can find a power, a self-assembler, hello. That's what we needed. Any order. So now we get to play the self-assembler. 
We're going to flood the board, grabbing a self-assembler, playing the grotto, uh, find another self-assembler on top, which we will bottom, pass a turn, and attack. We're just going to try to pressure them. They could snap the self-assembler. We have five and four. You can't cast two self-assemblers this turn. <clears throat> they snap the self-assembler. That is a weird art. Look at that frame. Weird. All right. I guess I should have not attacked. Another ninja. Luckily, all of our creatures are way too big for them to use uh, spell starter sprites on. All right. Now we have to chill. Very miscreant. Draw a card. Chromatic star. Play a self-assembler. And we can play another self-assembler. Yep. Grab it. Get a self-assembler. Play another one. So now at this point with two blockers in play, I'm going to just attack. They could snap one of them again. They'd have to have double snap. They're going to spell setter sprite. Okay. We're going to block the, both the ninjas with our assemblers. And if they snap one, we'll just block the ninja the deep hours because the looting is a little bit less scary than them having actual like beats. Uh, they use the one spell setter sprite from their hand. So they either have a second in hand or they probably have like some ninjas right now we have 13 power so we can threaten lethal on our attacks a snap and a self assembler okay we blocked the ninja the devours we don't care that much about loots but we are taking a lot of damage uh okay they didn't kill my self assembler so that i can't gain life from the faggot marauder they bring out they drop a spell pierce <laughs> uh, I'm going to try for Chromatic Star into Breath Weapon. Pepper Red and Breath Weapon. Sick. Resolves. Got him. Green. They said lol, mold to five. Yeah. Mold to Tron. <laughs> Man, this is get it garnering a lot of salt. Uh, so we want all of the Twin Salt Spiders. Okay, Crusher is a bit too expensive. Maybe they just take out the Maelstrom Colossus or the Fangren Marauder. I feel like Fangren Marauder is a good way to continue to like... I'm going to bring in the Marauders over the Boulder Branch Golems. Let's do that. Submit. Multitron. Yuck. <laughs> okay. Uh... So the problem here is that they're going to have spell pierce for our ancient stirrings. Going to mulligan. I will mull again. One more time. Okay, keep this, this, and the red. Oh man, we have two power plants. This one, not so good. <laughs> Multi four. They go for fairy seer. We're going to play out the chromatic star. Okay, Grotto first. Stirring's on top. We'll keep that and play out the star. Let's see if we can get to the point where we have one of our spiders in play. Because it makes two, two one, two spiders. Alright, they're gonna just uh, get in. So let's Stirring's. Grab a mine. Our opponent played the ninja last turn. They play a fairy seer now. Resolving the fairy seer. They went bottom bottom, so it must be looking for a land now. Get in. They draw the card. We're at 16. Play an island so they can have a counterspell up. So they tap off of counterspell to play an of one mine. So at this point the spider would be good. Don't draw the spider. Gonna crack this for green. Ancient stirrings we could cast. So we find a breath weapon. Let's just play the mine out and pass the turn. I think we have lost, unless we can somehow resolve the breath weapon. Get in for a million. Well, it's really just three, but they get to draw cards to uh, eight in hand, which is scary. Double miscreant. I'm going to play the power plant. And then we'll do yield until blocks and just cast the breath weapon. They'll have to respond to it. Play a fairy seer. 
I wonder if they'll go for ninja again. Get in. Okay. Try to cast a breath weapon. So this should tap them out at minimum. And then we'll put a self assembler next turn. I have a spell pierce. I knew they had that, so obviously we uh not get through it. And I think we're just gonna concede. We have another uh, land indicating a counter spell. We have the Tron though. Self assembler. Somehow that resolves, but we're dead in two turns. That's the turn. We have the counter spell. All right. They've accomplished their goals. Okay. <laughs> Our opening hands have been absolutely terrible. Pulse of Morasa could be decent. I think we're, I mean, we have a good setup. We just need to open, um, in order to actually accomplish our goals, we actually have to open up two lands in our opener. We have Mine Mine. Okay, this doesn't work though, because we can't cast any of our giant spells, so we have to mulligan. Okay, this is absolutely great. It's a great hand. Uh, do we get rid of the Colossus or the Self Assembler? Just get rid of the Forest. Keep get rid of the Forest. Absolutely great. Best possible case scenario. <laughs> okay, Power Plant map. They're gonna complain again. So we have to turn on uh, the auto yield, so I don't have to click so much. And they play a fairy. Okay, you have a fairy. We play land expedition map. Grab the mine. Yep. Next turn we play Wretched Griff. And then we play Self Assemblers and everything. They're gonna um represent counterspell. So let's try playing self assembler into the counterspell. Oh, they could also have things like a null. Yep. I didn't consider that. Pass the turn. Get it for one. Alright, well, let's cast a wretched griff, I guess. Just keep making two for ones. So that's gonna resolve. They can't annul it, they have to have counterspell. Counterspell. So we are looking for a green mana. We can cast our twin silk spider. We can do for one. We need a land. Okay, we find a land. Land. Okay. Put on the bottom. Green. Play twin silk spider. Pass the turn. Now we have blockers. Your 1-1 one, one is looking poor. Next turn, I'm going to cast an 8-8. Eight, eight. They can see the game. To... Yes! <laughs> too strong! Oh, too strong. 1-2, two, too strong. All right. Let's go to round 4. Okay, we're going to play again. Let's go. We have mine map. So I think we're going to keep this. Play Grotto. Uh, see what's on top and map, and then we have two looks basically to find our power plant or tower. Let's yield to that. What do we see? Crusher. So let's bottom the crusher. Play the map. And what are they on? Drossforge Bridge. So they're on Affinity. Um. So we can map for power plant. Pass a turn, and then we go power plant map for tower. And just start slamming. <clears throat> we do have our one Fang and Marauder in the main deck. Not Affinity. Okay, so it's Red Black Burn. And they have to discard a card to hand size. Against Red Black Burn, we're looking to draw our power plant Boulder Branches. And we actually draw into the tower. So we have eight mana next turn. I mean, I'm just going to play out all my one drops. Sphere. Star. It could actually be Mogwarts. Or Goblin Combo, I mean. That's probably what it is. Faithless looting. Well, this is gonna tell us. Yep, it's uh no, it is red black burn. Madness burn stuff. Okay, here's a crusher. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> uh <clears throat> They're gonna be in a really bad way if they have, like, they can't attack right now. I'm going to attack and take out two of their permanents. They're going to fire temper us, okay? So on my next turn, I'm going to expedition map and then crack the sphere and star, look, trying to draw into a boulder branch or a ancient stirrings or something. Okay, boulder and epicure gives them another permanent. That works. So they can sacrifice epicure and mutt. Uh, step one attack. 
Let's yield to the annihilator trigger. Let's see what they just get rid of. Okay, land and a uh, blood token. All right, so let's. We can also grab the Bajukabog and get rid of their Faithless Looting. But if they cast Faithless Looting right now, I think that's fine. So maybe we should just crack for green and red. In case we draw into, uh, let's see, okay. We could draw into the Breath Weapon is what I'm thinking. Let's play the Sphere bracket for green. We have the one, uh, so this is four, five, six, seven, five. Let's go tower into Maelstrom Colossus, play a Wretched Griff, and now I feel like we are going to absolutely win. Draw a card, Fang Fangriff. All right, pass the turn. How are you coming back from that? Vampire's Kiss to 14. We have 15, 18 power on the table <laughs> in turn 5. This is just Monster Tron, Chunker Tron. I think it makes sense. Okay, so they, they made two blood tokens that they can sacrifice to the Crusher. Find a Boulder Ranch Golem. We're going to shut the door. Send everybody. Annihilate. So they're going to get rid of their Golem. Wait. Galvanic Blast, you. Okay. So we take four. Sacrifice some stuff. They either die or they block. And then next turn they die. <laughs> this is busted. You probably want to block the Crusher. Yep. I'm going to take ten. Okay. Uh... Do do do. Play a Boulder Branch Golem. Gain six. Go to sixteen. Get a six five. And then we'll play a Power Plant Worker. And we win. Easy peasy. <laughs> all right. So we want the potentially all of our life gain stuff. So uh, Crusher ended up being pretty good. Breath Weapon may not be required. Let's think about this. They have some stuff to get rid of. Bring in all of our, let's see, bring in these, pull some more awesome maybe. I just feel like we overpower them really easily. The Maelstrom Colossus is maybe our worst card. Hmm. Here are the Crushers and a Colossus. Well, not the Colossus. Let's get rid of Breath Weapon. One Power Plant Worker or a Pulse Marasa. Submit. Not entirely sure how to sideboard in this one. Weatherland Storm could be okay, but they're like kind of a slow burn deck, and we have now eight ways to gain life, nine ways. So we just have to get Tron online. Pulse of Marasa can help us to continue to have Tron. All right, we have Breath Weapon. We can cast this for four. This is a little bit sketchy. We have a one Scry, then we play Slagwood Bridge, then we Breath Weapon them. I think I'm in a mulligan. But let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna mull. Tower. Now I'm gonna keep and get rid of the breath weapon. And then what I'm gonna do is go land, play a star, land sphere. I'm gonna try to. I'm going to crack the sphere to attempt to cantrip into a land. We have 20 lands, so on the draw, it's pretty likely that we'll draw another one. Green. Okay, play a star. We did not draw another one. So that was a risk. That was a risk that we were taking. And now we're also exposed to smash the smithereens and stuff like that. They can just start bolting us out. As soon as we get Tron online, we'll have big ol' life gain creatures, though. I think we might be too slow. I, I think it was a wise mulligan for the first one and a not very good mulligan for the second one. They discarded a smash the smithereens. So they may have another one or not. We take two. Go to 17. Looking for a land. Green again here. Just play Expedition Map. Pass the turn. So, best case scenario, we draw a Power Plant or Mine. And then we can get Tron. And then the next turn we play Boulder Branch Golem, I guess. But I think we are looking at being dead here. They attack for five. So we're going to concede if we don't draw one of those two lands. Get ready. Chain lightning. No. Yeah, we're we're just dead anyway. Let's see what we draw. Okay. I did I took a very risky hand and uh, did not pay off. Not at all. We do want the breath weapons, it looks like, to get rid of their flyers and submit. Maybe the weather storm's also good. 
Just a minute. Okay. We're on the play. Mulligan. Okay, so we have mine. Double mine, tower, grotto. So I guess we keep this. Get rid of a mine. Go for fast drawn and do stuff. Our opponent has Mulligan to six as well. We have a lot of good top decks. Play map. Okay. We have a Maelstrom Colossus. So it's a turn four uh, Colossus. We're going to grab our power plant, which we have four of left. Tower, mine, yep. Power plant. Now we have seven mana. I guess the thing to do is to go star crack for red. Green. Starcrack for green would allow us to draw into a Fangin Marauder. Spear. Crack for green. Star. Crack for red. Draw. Boulder Branch Golem. We can't cast that. Okay, pass the turn. So this next turn I'm going to cast the Golem, I think. Gain six. Put up a blocker. Not sure if that's better than casting the Maelstrom Colossus. Probably is. Okay, Kitchen Imp. Although they can take out my Boulder Branch Golem. They can take out either of them with a Smash the Smithereen, so it doesn't matter. I want the one that gains life. Get in. Maybe we just use all of our mana. We're at 13, though. Wretched Griff. Let's cast the Griff. They cannot uh, smash that, and we can block their big creature. Pass the turn. We're going to pass again. They get like Chain. Okay, they Edict us. <clears throat> Get in for four. We might be dead. Okay. We play the Boulder Branch Golem to try to gain six. Gain six. Now, let's Grotto. See what's on top. Another Sphere. Let's bottom that. Play Star. Crack it for green. Looking for Pulse somewhere also. We find an Expedition map. Crack the map. Take the Haunted Fengriff, I guess. So the next turn we can play Boulder Ranch Golem to gain 6 again. Go to 21. And then we can play Haunted Fengriff to get... So this would be... Yeah, you know, we'll be able to play the uh, Haunted Fengriff as well. They're going to Alms us. That puts us to 12. Potentially 9. 8. Uh, if they can kill this, we'll be at 8. Smashes the Smithereens would put us to 5. They Faithless Looting. Discard Fiery Temper and a Bridge. So this puts us to 9, and then 6 here. So we have to cast the Golem. Smash the Smithereens puts us to 2. Okay. We're going to go back up to 8. Play this Golem. We go back up to 8 here. Then we play the Fengriff. Or we 6, 7, we can't do anything else. So let's just get a creature back. And we end up getting the Golem back, which is good. 6, 7, 8, 5. Pretty much looking for a uh, breath weapon, I guess. So this puts us to five, and we're dead to two burn spells. There's one. Got any plus for two, and a bolt. Okay. We did not get there. That was close. Maybe I made some mistakes in sideboarding, or uh, what my keeps were. We'll go to round five. Round five, we've got Tron online. We have fast Boulder Branch Golems. I'm going to keep it. It's basically... uh. What we're looking for. Land, land, land. Play stuff. Keep. And the last time I faced this player, I think they were on burn, but it looks like they're on mono blue now. Okay. Mine. Pass it. Oops. Pass the turn. Pass again. We do want to be able to resolve the self-assembler so that we can chain. They have a ninja. We beat mono blue once already. Let's see if we can do it again. Power plant. Go. Crusher is super good versus them. Well, maybe not. I feel like it's good to uh, pressure them, but maybe not as good if they have snaps. First thing I'm going to do is cast a Boulder Branch, I think. They discard a Brine Bear Intruder. Plays a Miscreant. Okay. Land. Play Boulder Branch Golem. Now, I could have cast Self Assembler, but I just want to use all my mana. And it doesn't look like they're any uh, very close to actually making their second land drop for a Counterspell. They bind the monster and... <laughs> Lose six life. Gets in. We're gonna cast a crusher. Discard a ninja. Land. Plays a fairy seer. 
So we will cast our Crusher, play Star, and Crusher. So we have an 8 8 that's gigantic. What are you going to do? So I could snap it at this point. It would be annoying. Miscreant, so they can't snap it right now. They draw a card. Did they draw a land? No. They will attack with everything? No, just their flyers. Okay, we take two. They could ninja again. Do they ninja? They do ninja. So next turn we have 6, 79, and 11. We cannot cast the Boulder Branches. Uh, we could just go self-assembler, self-assembler. Oh my goodness. Red. This just kills them. Breath weapon. Attack. GG. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was sick. Okay. I liked it. I mean, I'm enjoying playing big dumb dudes. Let's bring all these in. I guess the Fangan Marauder is like the weakest. This is what we want for sure. Um, Power Plant Worker is the end of the chain. I don't really know if I need that or not. Crusher was pretty solid there, but I don't think it's required. I'm going to get rid of the Crushers. It's pretty big. We want our two-for-ones and our uh, disruption. Okay, so we're on the draw here. We have land grotto, or we play the grotto, we play the star. We have breath weapon up, so we can try to do double breath weapon and catch them tapping out. I think I'm going to keep it. We play a fairy miscreant. We draw a Tron land, we draw a map. So go land, mine. Bottom the mine, play the map. We get in for one. Is it a big ninja? It is. That definitely is not great for us. Okay, now I'm feeling good. Grab the power plant. We get in for one. So I think what we're going to do is like end step a breath weapon, untap breath weapon. Power plant, pass the turn. Pass again. So if they tap down to just representing spell setter sprite, what I'm going to do is cast a chromatic star. Okay. Fairy miscreant draws a card. Miscreant draws a card again. It's quite a lot of value. Tower. Lay out the chromatic star. Attempt to cast breath weapon. We can cast two of them. Breath weapon. Lays counter spell. Okay. We have another. Couple ammo. <laughs> All right. I play an island and a hacker. We're gonna go with Maelstrom Colossus because of Cascade. Let's cast this. Unfortunately, they can spell setter sprite the Chromatic Sphere. I'm gonna counter. They're gonna annul my guy. Bog you. Pass the turn. Now we have nine mana. So. Could crack the sphere for green and see if we draw into anything. We can actually play double Boulder Branch Golem, maybe? We have nine mana. Yeah, we can. Because we can play Boulder Branch into Boulder Branch as three threes. Green. Play Prototype. They could have an Annul again, which would stink. This is such weird art. Okay, we, we gain three. Green. Cast another one. They have the Annul. Okay. They could potentially have the Snap, but they really don't want to snap my Boulder Branch Golem, to be honest. They bind the monster. They go to 17. They're going to attack and loot. Could potentially have another um, Ninja, which would be solid for them. They get a Ninja the Deep Hours out. Okay. So I think we... Griff? Okay, they have nothing. Yeah, they can't counter the Griff. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's Griff. Draw a card. Find another Griff. Okay, pass the turn. Pass again. And we will block the Ninja if possible. We're at 12 life. So we need to, res in order to keep going through the game, we're going to have to resolve our Boulder Branch. We bind the monster again. We're taking a lot of damage from that. We take four, though. They ninja one more time. There's ninja all over the place. So they're going to continuously draw two cards every turn. We're looking for our, uh, I don't know, anything good, really. Another Wretched Griff. So this is six damage. Play a Wretched Griff. We'll, 
We're looking for them to not have counterspell here. They have an annul in hand and not annul the wretched griff. Okay, we find a stirrings. Let's cast that because I'm looking for a tower, maybe. I want to cast more than uh, it, casting more than one spell a turn is a would be a good thing to have. We could also okay, let's just get a power plant. Unfortunately, we got rid of a breath weapon and a spider. And pass the turn. Once again, here we will block the ninja the deep hours. They snap my wretched griff. Okay, looks like we lose this game. So they're bringing in a nulls. They have the snaps as well. You can bring in the pulse. Get rid of this power plant worker. I feel like our deck is pretty well set up. We just didn't draw anything. I mean, we are playing just top deck wars. Okay, we would like to play first. Can we do it? We have turn three Tron. Keep. Interesting that Bind the Monster was that good for them. Land map. They cannot counter my map, so we can get a golem into play on turn three. Or we can play self-assembler. It's probably better just to get the self-assembler chain rolling. Get more onto the battlefield. They play Fairy Seer. We're going to land map. We could also Slagwood Bridge and then go for the Breath Weapon, but I think I want to map. Okay, we have two self-assemblers in hand now. Uh, power Plant is what we're missing. Grab it. So we have seven mana on turn three, and they have two Fairy Seers. And they missed their land drop, and they went top top. So they either are going to Ninja, or they're going to have a land drop. Let's immediately slam the Boulder Branch Golem to use all of our mana and gain six. Gets passed in a Null. They play a land. Are you going to bind the monster again? If they go like Little Ninja, play the Fairy Seer again, I'll just uh, Breath Weapon. They get in for two. They're going to put us to 23. I'm assuming there's going to be a Ninja here. Okay, Big Ninja, which we want to take off the table. We Grotto and we find a Sphere, which is not very good. It's really. We don't need to canter right now. I'm casting the breath weapon before I attack in case they uh had a muta. We attack. Yeah, put you to 14. And they scoop it up. <laughs> yes. We got there. Alright, so uh it was a fun game, fun games, and uh I hope you enjoyed. It was pretty sick. Actually a sweet deck. You just pressure, 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 and uh win the game. Maybe power plant worker is something that's like not necessary, but having five to chain through for four fours is pretty good. Ah, wow, okay. Uh, I don't have much to say about it. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next video.